What's going on everybody? How you doing? Shane D here, your best friend, and this really chaps my tits. I gotta tell you, I have been, I have thought about this video, and it's only 2 minutes and 18 seconds long, but I have thought about this video over and over and over again uh, since I saw it, and I was like, I'm on, I'm, I'm on the fence, I'm on both sides of this, okay? Now what you have here is Slipknot, the man, Corey Taylor. Uh, he's got the new mask on. Uh, there's this gentleman down here who has made it all the way to the front row. He's probably purchased a very expensive ticket um, to, be, to be loosely sitting up front here at the, the dead center of the stage. He's got his slipknot mask. You can see, I don't know if you can make it out there, but that is his own, <clears throat> his own slipknot mask. And I think the whole idea is that he wants, to, he wants uh, Corey Taylor to sign it. When is this guy ever going to get another chance to get that close to Corey Taylor without spending $800 or whatever they're charging to go backstage uh, for the meet and greets or whatever? When's the, when, when is the close? Well, I'll tell you what it's going to be. It's when he gets a ticket to the damn concert. He goes to the damn concert. He takes his mask in. His, he's probably wearing it half the night. Everyone goes, oh, look, there's Slipknot boy. And... And, and everything else. And so we're going to get into this video. We're going to stop it. We're going to start it. We're going to repeat it because I can see where Corey Taylor's coming from. But at the same time, when I finish the video, I say, you're a damn son of a bitch. So let's get into this. The ironic thing about this video is he's talking about the, the close-knit rock and roll and heavy metal family and how close we are and how, how everyone's just a little bit crazy, and but we're all family and stuff. So let's get into this. Here we go. That's what's so beautiful about the rock and metal family, right? And this guy's down here somewhere. One of these little heads down here has that mask. It's probably that right there. We fucking stick together. We do this shit together. And it doesn't fucking matter what you look like. We're fucking family. You feel me? Love it. I, the guy's got such a positive vibe and a positive thing. We do it together. We stick it together. The hard rock and the heavy metal family. We love each other. We do this. Don't we do it? Isn't that a guy that you want to hand your stuff to? To say, this is, this is one of those dudes. He's just a good guy. Now somebody says something to him, so he comes over here, and he's like, what do you got here? Okay, now he picks up the kid's mask, right? And then he tosses the mask. He doesn't drop the mask back down. He doesn't say, sorry, bro, I can't do it, you know. He's, he's talking about the hard, rocking, good, the, the, the closeness, the tight-knit, heavy metal family that we have here. The kid has spent hundreds of dollars to see Slipknot live. He has brought his mask. This is what he says. <laughs> see, that's what happens. You lose your shit. Hard rock, heavy metal family, ooh la la, we love each other so much. You guys are a blessing because here you are on the front row of, of our concert and everything else. Guy puts the mask up, he throws it, he goes, that's what happens, you lose your shit. See, and that's, that's the, well, that's weird that lady passed right there when I paused that. Um, so there you have that part right there, right? He's talked about, he takes the guy's mask, he picks it up, he looks at it. Oh, this guy wants me to sign this. He is literally connected by the mask. This guy's holding the mask, he grabs the mask. This guy is as happy as he's ever been in his life. He's on the front row of the Slipknot concert. Corey Taylor has eyeballed him. He's bent over. You always see those videos with Beyonce or Ariana Grande or whoever, and they pull some kid out of the audience, and it changes their whole goddamn life because they're dancing around. Ooh, baby, ooh, la, la. Ooh, baby, ooh, la, la. And the kid's just going ape shit crazy, Nicki Minaj or whatever. You know, they're going crazy. So this kid is down there on the front row. He spent hundreds of dollars to be down there on the front row. He, he obviously is a super Slipknot fan because he's got the mask. Uh, I don't know whether he made it or he bought it or whatever. Then the kid even takes it a step further and connects a, a Sharpie marker to it. 
All you got to do is just grab the freaking thing, sign Boogie Boogie Boo, whatever uh, Corey Taylor would have wrote on that mask would not have mattered. He didn't have to sit there and spend uh, half half an hour writing out the old John Hancock on there. All he had to do is go zippity zippity bop, throw it back down to the guy. Guy doesn't even care about the marker. Doesn't even care if he gets the marker back or anything. He wants that mask. He wants it signed by Corey Taylor. Here I am. I'm on the front row. He thinks it's funny back there. Oh, oh, yeah, but that's his boss. So he's like, yeah, you better laugh. Let me ask you something. Do you guys understand why we all love heavy metal, rock and roll, the crazy shit? Now that kid is probably sitting down there stewing right now saying, I will never buy another Slipknot thing again. That just fucking makes us feel alive. you understand why we like that shit? And he's going to launch into why things are crazy. You know, our fans are crazy. Oh, we got some horns right there, you know, horns up. And there's little Sid. He's going crazy. I have a theory. Was he, oh, was he mocking him, kind of? There's just something a little fucked up about each and every fucking one. Yeah! So let's go back and watch that again. We don't care about the rest of this because he's going to go, this song's called, you know, Autograph, Baby, I Ain't Gonna Give It, whatever he's going to do next. But, you know, the whole idea, and I think that's what really kind of hit me, was the whole idea that he's talking about family and uh, the tight-knit group we are and uh, this and that. And, 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 you know, people are going, yeah, man, we agree with you and everything else. But this kid, this dude, this man, this gentleman, he's on the front row. He was there early. When's the last time you've been to a concert where you could just walk on in and make your way up to the front? You have to coordinate some time. You need to be there five, six, seven hours early to be in front of the doors, to be one of the first people to get right up front. Unless you're in one of those uh, pay $500 for a ticket and you can sit in this special section like and Metallica has that, where it's like, well, if you pay $500, you can stand down here right under James uh, Hetfield's uh, ball sack if you want to. But, you know, he's going on about the, the wonderfulness of the of the inclusiveness, and the, it doesn't matter what color you are, what kind of, where you come from, your religion, it doesn't matter. We're all a family. That's what's so fucking beautiful about this family, the rock and metal family. Yeah. 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 We stick together, we do this shit together, right? So this kid is jonesed up. He's horned. He's got a half hog on. He's got a party boat going on in his underpants because he's going, man, if this guy looks over and sees my mask, there is no better time in the world for him to lean over and go, my brother man right here, he wants his mask signed. He wants his slip non-mask sign. So we're going to do that for him right now because it's only going to take me a scant 20 seconds. In fact, the time that it takes me to kind of walk around and wait for you guys to quit applauding, I could easily sign that mask and throw it right back down to him. You feel me? We're a family. You feel me? Hey, what's this? Now, the only thing, the only twist in this is I'm, I, you know, and I don't know, and I'd love it if anyone has any information on this, but, uh, if that was like a mask that he didn't particularly care for, which still doesn't excuse the fact that he just threw that guy's property. Uh, that guy's a huge fan of Slipknot. And uh, the only other the only other thing that I, and again, this is why I kept going back and forth is, was it some kind of a jab at him? Did Was that a mask of an album or whatever that he didn't particularly care for? And so he's just like, oh, man, why are you doing that? You know, like old Pantera, uh, Phil Anselmo, he's not a big fan of those, uh, the glam metal albums. So I've heard story of him getting pissed off about that and not wanting to sign them because of that. But See, that's what happens. You lose your shit. I mean, but that's not the Corey Taylor that I seem to see all over the Internet. He seems like a real positive reinforcement, a real nice guy, a real kind of band together, we can do it, united, you know, hu human decency kind of a guy. And that right there was just like a, that's what happens, you lose your shit. This kid's, 
if if this kid was doing it with all the uh, up the the uh, honest intentions that I think this kid was, he's absolutely torn to bits right now. Unless he's that big of a fan that he goes, Corey Taylor literally grabbed my mask and threw it and said, "Up yours." He's like, yeah, boss, you tell him, you tell him. Anyways, what say you? I mean, like I said, I watched this video the other day, and I was just like, you know, uh, um, the, 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 the tagline was, Corey Taylor gets mad at a rude fan. And I was like, well, what does this rude fan do? He hands him a freaking mask. He hands him a mask to sign and the marker to do it. All you got to do is just jot down a little something, scribble something on there. The kid is happy for the rest of his life. Instead, he's going, you are a damn son of a bitch. What say you? Get in the comments below. Give me your thoughts, your theories, and your opinions on that situation. I understand he's in the middle of a concert. But Corey Taylor strikes me as the kind of guy that would go, yeah, I'll take 30 seconds for you, man, because you're on the front row of a Slipknot show right now, and you've got a mask that you clearly love, and you got the marker attached to the mask that you currently love, you know, and, and so I would love to know what you think of that, okay? Swinging in for kisses and loving so much.